Yeah, Sunday mornings are great. Uh, here, nice and quiet. Uh, no kids and no uh, mechanical sounds from the, uh, the leaf blower or the, the chainsaw, whatever. Well, that's good. I discovered that, um, you know, it's sometimes you think electronics is out to get you. And uh, my mobile phone can be a real pain from time to time. I've, uh, this is the second time I checked it t t this morning because I, I noticed that my balance had actually dropped because I'm using Aldi uh, prepaid. And, uh, and I, have, I don't use it much. It's mainly for incoming calls. Yeah, but okay, I'll send the occasional SMSs and what have you. But you know, don't, you don't use it for a great deal. I, um, only if I really need to make a call. Most of my communication takes place uh, via the computer you, with emails and the like, because it doesn't cost anything. It gets the message across. Unless it's super urgent, you know, ring up. You're sure you might, you might need to. But anyway, that's all by the by. The point is that um, I... Uh, I noticed the balance had dropped down quite quickly and I couldn't work it out because I just haven't been using it much. Uh, so I, I went into the settings this morning and lo and behold I, I discovered what I hoped I wasn't going to discover, that the mobile data had been switched back on. Now I'd actually disengaged that after I bought the, uh, the new handset and because uh, I, I, I noticed that my balance dropped off that time and then it stopped and it stabilized for some reason there was a sub there was actually a software update i think that took place recently and that might be what's caused this and every time they do that obviously the settings are affected which is a real pain because i just don't want mobile data i don't use it only if i was actually maybe using uh, gps when i'm traveling or whatever it'd be good you know, looking for a place I'm lost or whatever and having a GPS function on the phone, well, that'd be good. But apart from that, I can't see any real reason why I'd need it. Uh, so I don't, I just don't web surf on the, on the phone using the, the mobile network. So it's just a, a waste. And it chews up the data, it chews up your, uh, your monetary allowance really quickly. So yeah, I don't know why. It just it just annoys me that there's no safeguard. If you switch something like that off, it just should stay off. Why should the um, default setting be uh, on? Unless there is a, some level of conspiracy between the hardware manufacturers of the mobiles and uh, the mobile networks, because it's obviously in their interest for it to go back on and you pay money that you don't for a service you don't want. It just pisses me off. But. Uh, I'll just have to be vigilant from now on. I wish I hadn't had to be, especially for some software updates. But I'll, I'll check in the mornings, just the next week or so, to make sure that settings that, that they haven't it hasn't reverted to being on again. Uh, might even happen every time I reboot. Who knows? Hopefully not. Well, I don't reboot very often in Italy. Uh, I just don't see a need to. You probably should, but. Yeah, there's one of the many, many planes that are travelling in and out of Cairns continually. There's a little hill in the background, it's quite nice. Very pleasant day today, it's actually, uh, it's around 10 o'clock in the, in the Sunday morning, so pretty quiet, but a little bit of a breeze, so it just makes it quite pleasant to walk around. Uh, other thing I did yesterday, I went down to the, um, to target and I finally got myself uh, one of those kick-ass uh, floor um, fans high velocity fan I think they call it and it's uh, yeah it does it's got a bit of grunt on the low setting the reviews were dead accurate the bloody thing really pumps out a bit of uh, air uh, much more than the wimpy one that I bought a while back at uh, uh, at Kmart which seems to be on its last legs uh, although the one the one disadvantage is it, it certainly is very effective at moving air, but it's also quite noisy. Uh, you know, it sounds like you're next to a bloody uh, prop aircraft. So that's not... I'd prefer it to be a bit quieter. And mind you, I was warned the, the reviews did mention that. So it's good to have reviews like that on products. But And it cost 
about four times as much but it looks like a much more sturdy product it's actually uh, and assembly wise uh, you always have to assemble these things these days but the assembly involved in this one was so basic it's not virtually not worth mentioning uh, you just had to put a couple of screws in to, to mount the uh, the wall the, the floor um, brackets so I can actually sit on that was it just two screws to be put in uh, to the tubes to, to give it a stand and uh, that's the only construction required so that's pretty good because the other one I had to do a lot more to actually put it together uh, not a lot but but you know it was more more involved and uh, and the construction so the actual fan itself is already it didn't have to be touched it's already constructed and it's it's all metal the uh, the blades on the cheapo one are plastic these ones are all metallic and obviously the uh, the motors have got a lot more grunt in it so uh, yeah I think it was a good good buy because they've been out of stock for a few days and I checked online and they said they were back in stock and they were so that was good uh, hey, it wasn't much fun having to lug it back home but you know I can't until I, unless I get that electric, electric trike uh, it's a little task like that will have to be done manually so the trike does have its place and I'm seriously considering buying one but I also saw that the there's Repco uh, mountain bikes being sold at Big W at the moment for 150 bucks and uh, and they look okay there's, there's there's even cheaper ones than that but the Repco ones have got 29 inch wheels I think so that's a decent size one uh, so better for you know, riding on the road as well as as tracks and most of it be road riding anyway let's be honest most of these trail bikes aren't used on trails uh, but yeah that's, that's incredibly cheap no doubt it's made in China but uh, who cares uh, certainly for me it's a better buy to buy something new then you know everything's working for a start and there's some sort of warranty on it then what, what I did the last time which is to buy, buy a second hand one and, and build it myself in effect uh, not worth it it definitely better just buy something new when they're that cheap seriously <laughs> So I might do that before I make, uh, the, well, I'm still looking at the trikes, but unless I find something really good, a good second-hand electric trike, maybe get less than a grand, uh, I don't know if I'm going to want to fork out one and a half thousand right now, especially because I've just spent a bit of money on this holiday, and I, most of the bookings are Airbnb, and, and all the airline tickets are, you have to pay ahead, so... Um, Yes, I'm going to be. I had a big, uh, a big bill that had to be paid on my Amex card uh, at the, a few about a week ago. So that's left a bit of a hole in the finances, just short term. Uh, it'll be okay. Just uh, also, there's been quite a reversal with the stock market in my particular stocks this this week. So at the end of the week was really bad. Um, you're not. Uh, risk slashing bad but but there's a couple of major corrections in it and the and what the biggest worry for me is that the uh, blackmore stocks seem to have really turned and are going down uh, i hope they rebound next week because i would like to sell off more of them and it looks like they're not going to make the 200 uh, dollar mark like they did last time uh, i think they're less than 160 right now so yeah, they've, they've got a fair bit to, uh, to make up. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great. Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.